Brooklyn Independent Television. Students are always making art at school. However, rarely does it end up in a museum. In this case, students were commissioned by the Museum of African Diasporan Art to create an exhibit called Afrofuturism. The young students that are participating in this program are learning about ancient African traditions in an attempt to understand the future and how they, um, as individuals, connect within that future. Brooklyn students from elementary through high school participated in the year-long program. Lori Cumbo describes what she feels the program did for the students. Each of them is expanding their imagination, their horizon, and even what we even think is possible um, in the artwork that you'll see. Created in part by educational coordinator Ruby Amanze, the concept of Afrofuturism was interpreted differently by different students. Thinking about recycling, thinking about the earth and what the earth would look like in the future, uh, the students created their version of an earth but in the shape of a heart to represent um, a love and respect for the planet. Other groups of students thought about, thought about it very much from an out of space, intergalactical sort of place. And then others just thought about it from, well, what would be better than now? And they expressed their points of view through a variety of media, from painting to video and reusing of materials. So most of the schools that we work with either don't have an arts program or they have an arts program but they don't have the resources to do Photoshop or photography or some other media outside of paper. Like students we caught up with who attend Kurt Hahn High School in East Flatbush. That was my first time painting actually and I really didn't think that it would have came out like that. Like every moment that I painted, I was just like, wow, I really did this. I was proud of myself. Brandon's piece featuring the late Tupac Shakur challenged gender roles in today's hip hop. If he was one of the greats, why can't a female be in that same position as him? After sharing the art technique that created the foundation for her futuristic robot, Shanna Kay shared what the program has meant to her. I think art is so amazing just from that one piece because like I learned so much things just in that little bit of time and it just made me excited. And she's not the only one. I'm very excited to see what these young people will do with being educated and given these tools in order to express themselves. For Caught in the Act, I'm Tati Amara. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.